This is SE Featured. This is the power of sports. Wow. For Josh Jacobs, on the day of the NFL draft, it's less about the time to wait and the ground he's covered to get here. Most of it before he ever reached a field. Honestly, never thought about going to NFL or nothing like that. Growing up, I ain't have nobody to look up to in this position. Josh Jacobs grew up on the north side of Tulsa, Oklahoma, with four siblings. In 2006, when he was eight years old, his parents separated. His father, Marty, would eventually get custody of all five children. When I got custody of all kids, I was in my room by myself. But I sat there. And I asked God, I said, okay, I got these guys by myself. And I said, I don't know what to do. I said, I'm already struggling. And the only thing I heard as clear as day, he said, protect their destiny. Long on faith and finding work the best he could, Marty struggled financially. At times, he and his children were without any permanent place to call home. Mostly, we were living out of the car, and uh, literally, we'll pack everything in the car, and when we get to a hotel, unpack everything, and then pack everything that morning. That's how I normalized a lot of things growing up. Like, I never thought, like, damn, I'm sleeping in a car. Facing that, we're homeless. You know, the money ain't stretching the way it is. I'm trying to take care of other kids. If I broke down what I was making and what you seen in bills, it never equaled up. It never did. Seeking the space and the peace he didn't have at home, Josh found it on the field. I say football really saved my life, honestly. changed my life because it gave me an outlet. Jacobs would play at McLean High School in North Tulsa, a program that hadn't produced a Power 5 prospect in a decade and a half. As a running back, his talent was plain to see, if anyone was looking. He had the whole package. Great stats, excellent speed, was really dumbfounding why he wasn't getting more recruiting attention. I was always under the radar. I mean, I let the state in Russia and you ain't even see me on like no paper or nothing. It was just the stigma of where I came from, the, the school I played for. Despite averaging 15 yards a carry and running for 2,700 yards and 31 touchdowns, Josh, didn't have a single scholarship offer from any FBS school before December of his senior year. Then a turning point. Gerald Smith, a recruiting coordinator from Dallas, suggested Josh join Twitter and post his season highlights and stats totals. There was nothing bad about his film. So I started it back over. I watched it again. I watched it again. I watched the whole thing. Next thing I did was I called my buddy and I said, hey, this kid can play anywhere. And he was like, what you got in mind? I said, bam. By signing day, Josh was no longer a secret and had received several Power Five offers. But his first choice, Alabama, had yet to commit to him. So I watched him on film and I said, this guy is really pretty good. He's got quickness, he's got change of direction. Uh, he's got some power for his size. I said, you know, we, we need the guy, let's take him. He basically told me, like, hey, Josh, we want you. All right, we made a decision. It was just a dream come true. I came back and sat down, and then I picked up the hat. At 
Alabama, Josh ran like he had lived. Hard. Even with his environment and how he lived, everything going against him, he played with a chip on his show. I feel like it's an advantage because I grind every rep. It's the hustle. I wouldn't get complacent because I've never had it easy. After a standout junior season, Josh was hailed as the top running back entering this NFL draft. It's high straight. Yep. Yes, sir. With family and through memory, Josh Jacobs has more than yards to gain and more than tackles to break. Breaking the little cycle or the generational curse, or whatever we call it. I feel like it just means change for my family. Hello. Hey, Josh, this is John Gruden with the Oakland Raiders. How you doing? Sleeping in the car, I always look back on it. It's always going to be something that molded me to who I am. It might have been rough, but I mean, it's my life.